Hello there, you're once more welcome to the Glory Realm Devotion Moment. God has something beautiful for you today. We're looking at the Word of God taken from the book of Ephesians. Mighty awesome revelation in the book of Ephesians. I want you to turn with me in your Bibles if you have a hard copy or a soft copy. If you don't, just take some time and listen now. We're reading from Ephesians chapter number 1. You know, yesterday, we're looking at the part Paul was talking about the immeasurable, also passing, limitless glory and power that God has intended for each one of us. He was praying that the Ephesian church would get to understand what God has in store for them. The problem with many of us is that we really don't know who we are in Christ. Knowing who you are in Christ gives you an advantage and actually activates the power that is on the inside. You see, the problem with many of us, we have only the theoretical knowledge about who we are in Christ, but never had been bold enough to actually believe God to manifest it. Paul, when he was talking about it, he was talking about it in the sense of demonstration. Not just theory, not just some ideas. Because it's a strong reality. What you read in the Bible, for every one of us children of God, what the Word of God says is what it actually what's actually saying you are who God says you are in Christ Jesus and that's what we have in verse 19 I'm going to read it on from verse number 19 on to 20 and that's the as far as the Lord would lead us it says, and so that you can know and understand what is the immeasurable and limited and surpassing greatness of his power in and for us who believe as demonstrated in the working of his mighty strength his mighty power it is for us who believe, and it is in and for us. It is in us. Hallelujah. That power is in us. I, I just feel the anointing now. It is in us, and it is for us who believe. There is coming a mighty demonstration of the manifestation of the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is about to be seen like never before. It is with those who are bold to believe who understand who they are and are bold to step out to demonstrate. You see, uh, people you see look at today and say, oh, this guy is anointed. It's because the person has been able to come to the point where the person can see by the help of the Spirit of God. It reminds me of the story of A. Allen. You know, A. Allen was one of those that was mightily used by God. I mean, strange and awesome miracles brought in his ministry. You know, you know what really happened with A. Allen? His church, he was a church pastor, and he was a rascal who gave his life to Christ, and people saw the presence of God in his life, and then he became a pastor, but not much was happening in his ministry. The ministry seemed to be failing, and then his church one day decided, oh, we're going to send him to a, to a meeting. They decided to send him to Ora Roberts, you know, meeting, where Robert was having his healing campaign then, and it was his big tent, and a. Allen got there and when he got there, he saw the demonstration of the power of God and he concluded, he said, I can do this. It's amazing how he started. He said, I can do this. I can do this. And he went away, resigned from the church. But, oh my God, but the tent of Jaco, Jaco was one mighty man, I mean, one mighty used by God. But Jacob's tent, because Jacob just died not too long ago, and the widow had no need of the tent anymore, and they were too happy to sell it to A. Allen. A. Allen bought the, the tent and went in prayer, seeking the face of God, and he started preaching right away. And because he acknowledged who he is in Christ, and in the process, God showed him what to do, things to do that will trigger the miraculous. And he did those things and the miraculous began. And so it was because A. Allen realized who he is in Christ. Now, if you don't realize who you are in Christ and start walking into reality, you will just remain the way you are for the rest of your life. There's no one who is, who is superhuman, you know, when he's born, you know, apart from the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and a few persons who, like Samson, you know, but, you know, they, they still have to walk in accordance with the will of God, the word of God. Jesus stayed in the will of God from the beginning to the end, but Samson did not. 
And so he lost the power he once had. But at the end of his life, he asked for it again. He asked for it. See, you can have it and you can walk in it if you will acknowledge it. Parliament one six says, the communication of your faith becomes perpetual by the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ. You need to know what's in you. And that's why we're studying Ephesians so that we can know who we are. A. Allen saw what Brother Robert was doing and said, I can do this. As you read that, your Bible, and you are you know, presented with awesome revelation from God's word, what you need to say is, I can do this. Paul looked at a number of things and then he said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, if you make up your mind, you will be able to work in the supernatural. And that's what Paul was talking about here. And so in verse 20, he says, Which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. He says he wrought it in Christ Jesus when he raised him from the dead and seated him in, in, in you know, at his right hand you know, in the heavenly places. He wrought it in Christ. Now, Romans 8 verse 11 says, if the same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in your mortal body, then that same spirit will quicken you. If it dwells in you, then that same spirit will quicken your mortal body. Stop saying that you are weak. You are weak. Oh, your spirit is, is willing and your flesh is weak. No, why can't you say, I can do all things through Christ and strengthen you? There's something on your inside. There's something waiting. I mean, the Spirit of God has been waiting for you to just acknowledge who you are in Christ and the world will see the glory of God in and through your life. But it starts with you saying, Lord Jesus, be my Lord and Savior. Have mercy on me, forgive me my sins. And when you pray that, be sure that you go away from all unrighteousness and that you continually depend on Him. And if you truly did, ask Him to be your Lord. He's going to break the power of sin and He's going to give you the power to live the supernatural life with Him. And as you walk with Him, the one who sees glory in your life. Thank you for being part of today's broadcast. I look forward to hearing your testimony. Let us know what God is doing even through this broadcast in your life. And we give all the glory and all the honor to Jesus. Till I come your way again, I'm eager to give you God bless you.